good things come in little packages, as the saying goes. Hummingbirds, the world's tiniest birds, demonstrate all of this and more. The average hummingbird, which is native to the Americas, weighs 5 grams, or about the same as a single sheet of paper. Being a hummingbird, despite its diminutive size, is no easy task. Hummingbirds, the tiniest migratory birds, can travel non-stop for 800 kilometers, or 500 miles. They're known for flying alone and are one of the few animals that can travel alone. What else do we know about the world's tiniest birds besides their incredible flight abilities? Keep watching to find out. Hummingbirds visit around 1,000 flowers per day on a regular basis. Hummingbirds eat nectar because it contains carbs, which are their primary source of energy. The birds drink 5 to 8 dosages of flower nectar per hour since it is the best source of sugar. A hummingbird visits over 1,000 flowers in a single day to acquire its daily nectar intake. The eggs of hummingbirds are around the size of jelly beans. The majority of female hummingbirds lay two egg clutches, which they incubate for 15 to 18 days. Nests of hummingbirds are around the size of a dollar bill. Hummingbird nests are typically 1.5 inches in diameter, or about the size of a golf ball. Hummingbird parents use spider silk to bind their nests together, weaving together twigs, plant fibers, and leaves. Hummingbirds, in general, build nests for each season. Hummingbirds don't walk. Instead, it perches and moves around using its small legs. Hummingbirds consume a large amount of nectar. Hummingbirds typically swallow twice their body weight in nectar in a single day. Pollen is carried by them as they migrate from plant to plant. Hummingbirds offer a splash of color to our environments by pollinating native wildflowers in parks and plants in your garden. You can find hummingbirds only in the Western Hemisphere. Hummingbirds have a decent lifespan. Hummingbirds can live for two to five years, depending on the species. The sound that the hummingbirds make has given them their names. The sound of a hummingbird's wings fluttering quickly is what gives them their name. Hummingbirds lack the ability to smell. Due to the strong concentration of cones in their retina, they have good color vision. Reds and yellows are more sensitive in hummingbirds, whereas colder tones like blue are muted. Hummingbirds don't stay together for the rest of their lives. Hummingbirds instead look for mates while in heat and are unlikely to meet each other again after copulation. Humans are recognized by hummingbirds. They can detect which compassionate folks would refill their feeders for a nectar fix, in addition to recognizing flowers. Hummingbirds have a heart rate of 1,200 beats per minute when in flight. Aside from its size, the hummingbird's rapid heartbeat is one of its most distinguishing features. When it's flying around, its small heart may pump up to 1,200 beats per minute. Its heart rate drops to 250 beats per minute while it is at rest. When you compare it to the human average of 80 to 100 beats per minute, you can see the difference. Only hummingbirds have the ability to fly backwards. Hummingbirds are the only birds in the world that can fly backwards or upside down. Their spinning wing muscles are the key, as they have a greater range of motion than other birds. Hummingbirds come in over 300 different species. Only eight species are found in North America, while the majority of these species are found in South America. Mountainous areas are home to the broad-tailed hummingbird. The broad-tailed hummingbird is found in the highlands of Western Canada and the United States, as well as Guatemala and Mexico. It's a medium-sized hummingbird with a rose magenta-colored neck on the males. Hummingbirds with ruby-throated throats are a single species. The ruby-throated hummingbird migrates to Northeast America during the summer, then to Central America, Mexico, and Florida in the winter. The ruby-throated hummingbird is around 3.5 inches long and has a wingspan of 3 to 4 inches. Solitary hummingbirds with limited social abilities are what these species are known as. The black-chinned hummingbird is one of the tiniest of the hummingbird species. Hummingbirds, in general, are already rather small. The black-chinned hummingbird, on the other hand, is recognized for being one of the tiniest species. The black, green, and purple coloring of these small birds are well known. 
As they migrate from the west coast to Mexico, black-shinned hummingbirds frequently perch on bare trees. Rufous hummingbirds have a range of almost 3,000 kilometers. Despite their diminutive size, rufous hummingbirds are masters of flight. During their migratory transits, these birds can fly over 3,200 kilometers. Depending on the season and migration period, rufous hummingbirds spend most of their time in the western half of the United States. The calliope hummingbird is America's tiniest bird. The calliope hummingbird is the tiniest bird in the United States, except from its vivid magenta feathers. These birds can also be seen in large numbers in Canada and Mexico. Anna's hummingbird has a large tongue that may be extended. The eating habits of this medium-sized hummingbird are well known. With a long extensible tongue that reaches as long as its bill, Anna's hummingbird collects nectar from flowers. These omnivorous birds eat insects and arthropods as part of their diet. The bee hummingbird is the world's tiniest bird. The bee hummingbird is not only the tiniest hummingbird in its class, but also the tiniest hummingbird on the planet. With an average weight of 2.6 grams, the female bee hummingbird is substantially larger than the male. The male bee hummingbird is small about 1.95 grams in weight. The bee hummingbird gets its name from its fast and strong flight, which resembles that of the genuine insect. The Patagona gigas is the largest hummingbird. The Patagona gigas, also known as the enormous hummingbird, is the largest of its kind. It can weigh up to 24 grams and have an 8-inch wingspan. The Patagona gigas' average flight speed is 15 wing beats per second, which is slow for a hummingbird. Hummingbirds can migrate at any time of day or night. Hummingbirds usually feed in the morning. Hummingbirds, on the other hand, may forage and dine at night in places with artificial light, such as porch lights, especially during the summer. Hummingbirds can fly at any time of year when it comes to migration. Hummingbirds go into a state similar to hibernation. Hummingbirds go into torpor, a hibernation-like state, as soon as they fall asleep. This state permits the birds to sleep deeply, allowing their metabolism to decrease to a quarter of its typical rate. Their heart rate can drop to roughly 50 beats per minute, causing them to breathe more slowly. As a result, in this state, they can preserve up to 60% of their energy. Some hummingbird species avoid migrating. Some hummingbirds, for unknown reasons, would rather stay around throughout the winter season than migrate. According to one notion, certain hummingbirds can survive without migrating due to their propensity to hibernate. Some Anna's hummingbird species, for example, spend the entire year on the northwest coast and in other parts of Canada. When in torpor, hummingbirds can resemble a dead bird. Hummingbirds hang themselves upside down when they go into a state of torpor. A sleeping hummingbird can appear to be a dead bird to an observer, and even if they are touched, they are unlikely to wake up. A hummingbird awakens from its torpor stage in about 20 minutes to an hour on average. After the torpor state, hummingbirds will consume 25% of their daily caloric intake. When hummingbirds wake up from their slumber, the first thing they do is search for food. To refuel and stock up on nutrients, they would binge on more than 25% of their daily calorie intake. Hummingbirds are the tiniest warm-blooded animals on the planet. Aside from the fact that hummingbirds are the world's tiniest warm-blooded animals, they lack the insulating feathers found in most birds. Hummingbirds, on the other hand, have a unique manner of conserving energy to get through cold nights by lowering their internal thermostat. The rufous hummingbird is the hummingbird species that migrates the furthest. From their nesting grounds in Canada and Alaska to their winter home in Mexico, these hummingbirds can fly about 5,000 kilometers. Flying gems is another name for hummingbirds. The majority of bird species have between 1,500 and 25,000 feathers. Hummingbirds, on the other hand, have fewer than 1,000 feathers. They're called flying gems because they can change the color of their feathers while flying. Hummingbirds can tell which flowers they've visited before. Hummingbirds are among the most intelligent birds on the planet. They have a huge brain compared to their body mass, 
weighing roughly 4.2% of the hummingbird's total body weight. Hummingbirds can discern the difference between new and old blooms as a result of this. They can also predict when a flower's nectar supply will be replenished. Hummingbirds may be small, but it's always interesting to find that they have their own little universe. This simply serves to remind us of the minor beauty of nature that we often overlook in our daily lives. It's never a bad idea to take a glance around every now and then. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more facts and informative videos. Thanks for watching, see you soon.